what's up guys I'm back with another video hit that like button on the way in if you're new to the channel please subscribe we're gonna talk about this information today you guys think what's happening today with the UAP situation do you guys think that's real do you believe that this may be signs of a scientific discovery? Do you guys think this is just the beginning stages of Project Bluebeam? Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. It's a lot of things going on in this world. I'm sure you guys already know. I'm just not going to mention anything that's got to do with nothing that I promote on my channel. But I say there's always distractions for a reason, y'all. When something takes your attention away from something and directs you to something else, there's something else going on. Just have to be aware at all times. I personally believe that this UAP, aka UFOs, um, situation it could be real I mean could be real but who knows because put yourself in a situation where imagine you the land owner and you have access to technology that nobody else has but you because you're the land owner and you decide to keep all that technology to yourself because you just figured you can profit from it considering that this planet is an economic opportunist uh you know planet and so i don't know you never know man it's hard to believe in structures that been using manipulation for many many years not just manipulation but disinformation and misinformation only to get their narrative established it's a lot of things man a lot of things i can give you small examples here and there i mean you notice how former members of the uap task force at least some of them that came out publicly and mentioned the things that they did you have the other side which is NASA and uh, Department of Defense and others um, disproving or disclaiming that what they were saying was not true in other words extraterrestrials do not exist at least that's the official statement that they keep making I don't know. It's tough. Then you see former military um, officers, whether they were pilots, whether they were there, whether whether they were on boats, <laughs> um, or wherever they were in the military. These people, one way or another, mention some things that got to do with connecting with extraterrestrials now again maybe these people still uh, you know with the government and just part of the blue beam ball to get it started but that's just theory and speculation it's not real I'm just you know giving you guys my point of view my opinion I don't really know what's true on this planet you can only gather some bits and pieces here now whether you choose it to be true or not that's completely up to you that's why when I post some things I try to give you guys um, what I believe to be true you know no BS in no um, I try to give you the full news about something but I make sure that if I was to mention something I look it up first to, to make sure that it's uh, from a reliable source or that is actually accurate. 
I've noticed many channels making mistakes by just promoting um, certain rumors and then they go with it for the sake of clicks. It's kind of sad that, you know, everybody's chasing a way to make views, but at the end of the day, if you're getting down with this YouTube channel um, stuff, it's pretty much to expand, you know, your mind with tons of people that watch your videos worldwide, wherever they are. Not only that, but able to communicate with people worldwide and share views, um, share all types of topics, of course. But what I believe is that um, so much, man, there's so much stuff that happens. We just got to, like like I said, grab what you think is fair for yourself and discard what you think it's not. You know, this UAP stuff may, may be indeed scientific discovery. And then it may not be scientific discovery. It could just be that they don't want to reveal certain sensitive material data that uh, you know, it's just something they don't want to do. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we're the only ones that get the same stories constantly over and over with every new regime denying the existence of extraterrestrial life. I mean, so far we get that NASA has, by the James Webb Telescope, was able to discover some forms of possibility that there may be some form of life in these exoplanets, the habitable zone. Now, when I say that, you know, I'm not talking about biological life like us. I'm talking about microbial life because that's what they probably end up saying first. Do I think that NASA already and, you know, and all those people are established some form of contact already? Man, that's tough, man. I mean, because at one point I, I can say, sure, you know, I believe that they already have that contact, which anything's possible. But then sometimes it's hard to <laughs> to believe whether... You know, it's real because everyone keeps making claims of either seeing or having direct contact with extraterrestrials. As you guys can see from my videos that I tackle a lot of these um, alien contact stories back in the days in 1950s, I believe. So that's why I pretty much tackled them type of stories back then. The Howard Menger story, the Frank Ernest Stranger story, the Adam... Um, what was it? Adamski? Adamski story? Uh, there's a lot of stories. So at the end of the day, it's hard to uh, just believe a lot of these individuals because a lot of these individuals, they make up stories just for the sake of profit, you know. And some people continue to push a lot of these stories as fact for the same reason, you know, profit. It's hard, man. Again, it's hard to... Um, when you really try to set the stage for truth, but there's too many people out there that promote a lot of nonsense and push it as truth. So it kind of messes it up for everybody, like those of us that are trying to really tell the truth about a lot of these things. Now I want to say, I want to direct y'all, if y'all if um, ever check out any other channel, you know, I would say check out the Black Vault channel. With Greenwald, I believe his name is John Greenwald. Definitely like that channel. Um, he's always talking about some interesting things, guys. Using FOIA, Freedom of Information Act. If you guys go to his channel, or maybe you're already familiar with his channel, you'll realize that when it comes to these topics, like the UAP topic and, you know, things like that nature, for now, he gets really deep into it and somehow you know and he figures out a way to get these documents i mean unfortunately 
when you request for a lot of these foyer things you always gonna have a lot of you know shaded out stuff I guess it's top secret or whatever but anyways you know I just figured I hit you guys up with this video letting y'all know that uh, it is a crazy world y'all but it's good to have an open mind out there don't be too much of a skeptic but also bear in mind that not everything is what it seems so if you guys like this video hit that like button if you haven't subscribed already please do help me you know grow this channel so I can better put better videos I like I said I'm still working with the OBS system I'm not no computer genius so it's kind of like taking me a little bit to figure it out even though I know I've seen a lot of videos saying oh it's so simple to use OBS I just got to figure it out so my quality videos as you guys can see you won't hear the background of my videos like right now you probably hear my fan going but yeah I'm working I'm trying to make better videos um, you know not just these still pictures so you guys just hear my voice the whole time even though that I always say that it's not really about what I'm showing you it's pretty much what I'm telling you so sure I'm gonna place a still picture but open dialogue letting you know tons of things perhaps you already familiar with and some things you probably not familiar with on occasion you'll see me throw some shorts in there for my YouTube channel experimenting continually still with that on occasion you will see me throw bits and pieces of biblical accounts mixed in with mythologies of the world if you want to call them mythologies I mean we can go deeper into all that type of stuff because at the end of the day like I said I believe a lot of the stuff connects together like when I gave you guys the story of Noah and Sui Sudra I believe it's one and the same person only difference is the name change and some things change based on narrative but other than that it's the same person so I'm pretty much gonna close this video uh, any questions you guys have for me put it down in the comment section I'll answer it to the best of my ability um, and with that I'm gonna close this video now one last thing before I go though you might notice that my videos are not like everyone else's because everyone looks for originality and this might not be that type of originality for anyone else you know because some people they like to start their channels with an intro and then with an ending I tend not to do all that I tend to do it just verbalizing it towards the end and that's how I do it. So I hit you guys up in the next one.